Hello friends. So today I'm going to share, my name is Lian, and I love to combine depth psychology and the gene keys and with essential oils. So today I'm going to talk about the core emotional wounds that we all come into this world with based on our astrological chart. And in order to receive astrological chart, you can go get a free profile on genekeys.com. And before we start, we are entering into this space of um, really being honest with ourselves and emotional vulnerability. So I always like to start with Sacred Mountain. So Sacred Mountain in uh, Dr. Carolyn Mind's modality of releasing emotional patterns with essential oils is what I pair with um, with depth psychology and gene keys. So Sacred Mountain is really to take us from our connection to the mass consciousness, which is um, a lower frequency band that is permeating the world um, that that is shifting but we take ourselves into what is called um, Christ consciousness or divine love consciousness and keep ourselves there as we talk about shadows and, and um, painful kinds of emotions. So really simply, we take our sacred mountain, put it on our left hand, because this is the receiving side of the body. To me, regardless of your dominant or non-dominant hand, the left side is always the receiving side because it is connected to our right brain, uh, which is where we have our capacities for the divine feminine qualities of receptivity. We take our other hand, we circled it around three times clockwise, and we put that on our solar plexus, which is the alarm point for this mass consciousness and we're transmuting it into Christ consciousness. We put that on our crown, the back of our neck, and um, the back of our head, and then the back of our neck and our um, forehead where our emotional points is. Yeah. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> and then we start to inhale it with a sentent and we do three times for each um, section of the process. So as we inhale the first time, we're going to inhale this idea of being connected to mass consciousness and how that makes us feel. But as we inhale it, we, um, as we exhale, we let it go. We don't hold on to our feelings of, of anything that causes us pain, even the feelings that causes us joy. Okay, so inhale and allow mass consciousness to come up for you. What does that mean? Is it being stuck in traffic and everybody around you is angry? Inhale. As you exhale, let that go. Whatever comes up for you, just let it permeate your body and let it go. This idea of being connected to mass consciousness and let it go. Next three inhales, we inhale, we're inhaling Christ consciousness, divine love consciousness, and the consciousness that is of the highest frequency. Inhale that in. Allow that to float everywhere in your body. As you exhale, you let that go. Inhale again. Connecting to divine love consciousness. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. And the final three inhales, we inhale again to divine consciousness, but we exhale um, and we say to ourselves the affirmation, I am conscious. So inhale here. I am conscious. Inhale again. Tapping into that feeling of divine love within you. I am conscious. Exhale, let it go. One last time. Inhale. I am conscious. 
so I can connect to divine consciousness, transmuting it from mass consciousness. I am conscious. Mm. Okay, so once we do that, we're in this um, place of love and compassion for ourselves and others as we explore um, our emotions and how we express it in the world. So there are six lines of core wounds that we as humanity come into this world with based on our astrological chart and our gene keys uh, hologenetic profile. It is in the sphere of the core wound. I would like to go through all six lines and um, no matter what line you're at, you will feel some resonance to what I'm talking about. And if you're interested later, you can go and get your own profile and dive deeper into it. So the first line is the wound of repression. This is, with the first line connected to the root chakra, is really the first wound of all. It is unexpressed fear that is deep and hidden within us. This is where we internalize our suffering and we allow it to um, ferment within us that all that energy that we repress. And what happens with this energy is it starts to create things in our body that is um, going to cause imbalance. So when I look in this book and I look under repression, uh, I see that the oil we can use is clarity. From repression, we can move to creativity. And the affirmation here is I change my perception. And the alarm point where we put this is the ovaries um, or the testes if you are a man. And I like to confirm in the book um, where it is. So I'm just going to go through all of these six uh, emotions so you can come back to this video later and do it with me. So the ovaries is one inch medial to the aces, which is... Um, just below our belly button and to the right, okay? And if you are a man, the testes, as I look in this book again, is um, upper inner thigh. So if you have this book or you have the online uh, subscription, you can always find these points again. So I'm going to do my ovaries and I'm going to take Clarity Essential Oil Blend Put it on my left side, I mean my left hand, circle it around three times clockwise. I'm going to breathe in three times, calling up this feeling of repression within me, and I'm going to feel it, and as I exhale, I let it go. So I won't speak much, just because um, with the scent tent, you probably can't really hear me, okay? Inhaling repression, feeling it in my body. Exhaling, letting it go. Inhaling. Repression. Allowing it to come up within my body where I'm repressing, giving it permission to show itself. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale. Repression. Exhale, let it go. I move to the other side. I'm teaching my body that it's okay to move between these and I'm gonna learn from them. So the next, the other side is creativity. So I inhale, creativity, and I recall the moments of creativity that I've experienced in my life and how that makes me feel. I allow it to come forth and I notice where it shows up. Exhale, I let that go. Inhale, creativity. Feeling it, exhale, let it go. One more time, inhaling creativity. 
exhale let it go and then three more times for the next part of the process I change my perception so I'm inhaling creativity feeling it I change my perception exhale let it go one more time inhale creativity feeling it I change my perception exhale let it go one last time three times each inhale creativity feeling that feeling I change my perception let it go so essentially what I'm doing is I am recalling the energy of repression within me this hidden fear and I'm going to switch it to creativity all that energy um, that I'm repressing can go somewhere there's an outlet for creativity I could draw I could sing I could um, write poems I could write in my journal I could garden any outlet in which you have been given the gift of um, really resonating with allow that to come through and as I change my perception I'm going to come into this attitude of honesty so honesty with myself and my fears and what I'm repressing is going to allow me not to just internalize my suffering um, but to see that I'm transmuting it into a creative project into the world and these core emotional wounds are really emotional wounds that we have taken on as souls coming into this world to transmute for the collective it's a karmic responsibility if you will and you will see these patterns show up in your life as you start to become aware of your core emotional wound so what in your life is really triggering you each time uh, when really that trigger could be used to a creative outlet but you are repressing it instead because that is your tendency as you contemplate this this core wound of yours so awareness is the first um, way uh, into transformation and so hopefully this will help you become aware so we move to line two which is denial so remember repression is the first wound it is hidden and repressed now we've become aware of it but then there's denial like no that's not me right so denial projects the suffering onto the world onto others and there is an overwhelming um, reservoir of feeling within us that we try to hold on to for a little bit and then we just can't and it explodes but as it explodes as anger we still go back to this denial where you know there's that's just me I was born that way um, I'm denying the responsibility of um, in a way transmuting that and we're causing karmic outbursts um, karmic energetic consequences when we um, project our suffering onto others because it is a chain of connection so with denial it is endoflex right I looked in this book for the emotion of denial and I see that it is endoflex and the alarm point is vision so vision as I look in here for the um, location I can always look at the chart but just so I can speak it to you it is the center of temple one inch above zygomatic arch so it's really here right so I'm gonna take endoflex put it on my left palm and we're going to circle it around three times clockwise we're going to put it on our vision point top of the head the crown back of the head emotional points on the forehead and back of the neck okay so we inhale 
denial, allowing and acknowledging that there has been aspects of our lives we're denying, aspects of our emotional outbursts we're denying, and as we exhale, we let it go. Inhale again. And it may bring up emotion. We notice it. We allow it. Exhale, let it go. Denial. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Moving that to acceptance. Inhale. Acceptance. What does it mean to have full acceptance of our emotional outbursts? Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Acceptance. What does it mean to have full acceptance for our imperfection of our outbursts? Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Acceptance. What does it mean to have full acceptance of others who are projecting their suffering onto us? Exhale, let it go. So we go now into the affirmation, which is I acknowledge. So inhale, feeling acceptance, I acknowledge. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, feeling acceptance, I acknowledge and let it go. Inhale, feeling acceptance, I acknowledge and let it go. And here, once we practice this, there is an acceptance. We acknowledge, again, remember, when we are aware and we actually acknowledge it is our first step to transformation, we start to come into an attitude of ease. Uh, one who has this um, line to core wound of denial has the gift. The attitudes are the gifts, right? The gift of being at ease. And we're always moving from the shadow to the gift in the Gene Keys modality. And the gift is where we want to live in most of the time. And when, when the shadows show up, they're actually the seed in which we can move into the gift again, in which we can allow that uh, knowledge, that wisdom, that information to come through as we acknowledge it to um, really live in this easeful state of acceptance. Okay, line three. This is my line. Shame. So you see how this works. From the first wound in our root, repression, we come to the second in our sacral of denial, but it leads to so much turmoil of projection. And then now we see our, our flaws, how we repressed it, but then how we outbursts with it. And then now it's like, wow, I'm ashamed of being a human. Um, of having all these emotions. Well, really, once we get to this place, um, we can stay in the shadow of self-loathing, which is what gives it even more energy. We start to believe that we're unworthy. And in this third line, it's all about change. It's all about movement. And so the third line core wound uh, will keep us so busy as we're so shameful, keep us so busy becoming workaholics, becoming, um, you know, uh, volunteers for everything. We're serving. We want to serve because we want to get rid of our shame. And uh, we want to avoid the feeling of shame, right? So a third line may never stay around long enough to deepen their relationships. They will keep moving. So shame is addressed with White Angelica. White Angelica is a very uh, dear blend uh, of, of mine. I love White Angelica. It can really help us shift our consciousness from the lower frequencies. In this case, we're using it for shame. And we're going to move through to understanding. And the affirmation here is, I learn from all of life's experience. So the point is the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the between the eyebrows, above the nose, below the third eye. So it's right here. Okay. So we will use white angelica. 
hopefully um, this is helpful to you. And I know I should have given you the oils beforehand, but you can absolutely watch this replay. And um, the other oils we're going to use is Idaho Grand Fur, Balsam Fur, or Blue Spruce Purification um, and Clarity after this. And we have already used Endoflex, and now we're using White Angelica. Okay, so we're going to move through Shane. Here we go. And every time we do this, we are absolutely transforming it for the collective. We have to remember that um, and know that we're, we're making a difference. Okay, so left hand, circle it around three times clockwise. We put it at our hypothalamus, which is right below our third eye. Top of the head, back of the um, head, emotional points, back of the neck. Inhale, shame. Allow it to show up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, shame. Feel it. Let it go. One more time. Inhale, shame. Feel it within you. Exhale, let it go. We're moving that. Don't stay in shame. We're moving into understanding. Okay? So inhale, understanding. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Understanding. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale. Understanding. Exhale, let it go. I learn from all of life's experience. Inhale. Understanding. I learn from all of life's experiences. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Understanding. I learn from all of life's experiences. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Understanding. I learn from all of life's experiences. Exhale, let it go. Sometimes we like to shake it out because it's um, pretty heavy work. <laughs> and we're also um, teaching our body that there's nothing to hold on to. Okay? So the, the gift here is humor and as we move from this feeling of shame to this idea this understanding that we're humans and that we learn from all of life's experiences we're able to stay in this place this attitude of humor to really um, be in compassionate relationship with our foibles with our humanness and um, I, I love being in that space of laughter and joy and laughing with each other versus um, about each other. Yeah. So we move on to the fourth, which is the heart. The fourth core emotional wound is rejection. And um, this really is where we are rejecting others, rejecting ourselves, we have moved from this feeling of shame and unworthy to this place of um, reaction. I reject. And before you can reject me, I'll reject you, right? So it's all about armor, where we, we are having this armor around us and keeping everyone at bay so we don't get hurt. We have a deep fear of being hurt because our heart is, is sensitive and is really um, with, the, with the paradoxical way that spiritual lessons come through, our heart is at its strongest and most powerful when we allow it to be completely vulnerable. And vulnerable here does not mean weak. Vulnerable here means it, every, um, everything passes through you don't hold on to it, it doesn't hurt you, 
and yet you can respond with such compassion and such love. So rejection here is purification. So purification is um, going to be used on the lung point and it is right here. So it's one inch inferior to the lateral clavicle and one inch medial to humerus. Okay, so right here, you can feel it even as you touch it. And a lot of times it's really helpful to just massage that point to come into this place of acceptance and allowing energy to move through so you may release emotion. Okay, so we're gonna move through this. Inhale, rejection. When you have been rejected, feel it. Exhale, let it go. Oh, sorry, we gotta put it here, right? And top of head, back of head, back of neck, emotional points. Inhale, rejection. I like to really touch it. Rejection. The most painful relationships, the ones that left you. Let it go. Moving to acceptance. So inhale here. Accepting yourself. Accepting others. Honoring that they had their own paths to live. Letting them go. Inhale, acceptance. Exhale, let it go. Inhale one more time. Acceptance. Exhale, let it go. So the affirmation here is, I accept all that I am. So inhale, acceptance. I accept all that I am. Now, just let that go. Inhale again, acceptance. Feeling accepted. I accept all that I am. I think that was the third time. I'm not sure. And then we allow ourselves to come into this gift here of gentleness. As we accept ourselves, as we accept others, our hearts are able to really be in that place of gentleness to ourselves and to others. Okay, moving on to the fifth line, core wound. You can see how this is really heavy work, but it is so gentle in a way that our plant spirits take us through. Um, and I really encourage each and every one of us to really take that responsibility to do this for ourselves and for the world. The fifth line is at the throat and it's guilt. So guilt is where we use our voice to manipulate, to, this is in the shadow frequency, to um, come into power struggles so that we are actually using a voice to make others feel guilty or we um, are drowning in that guilt and so we project it out into the world through the manipulation. So here, the oil is clarity again. And the um, point is spleen. So we're going to move from guilt to deserve what you get. Now, I know, hear me out here, a lot of people hear this and like, what do you mean get what you deserve? Well, that phrase has been twisted into this, again, the, the guilt way. You're going to get what you deserve. And we feel guilty because, oh my goodness, what have I done that I deserve this, right? But actually, can we move it into the, the higher frequency of this statement, of this um, feeling of we actually, um, when one door closes, another door opens. When one door closes, it's because we, that's not what we deserve. We deserve something else. We deserve something more. We deserve what we're here to get, right? So don't allow that guilt to manipulate these um, higher frequency ways of seeing 
to, to this feeling of I did something wrong, right? And again, the affirmation here is I learned from all of life's experiences. So the spleen is um, two inches above lower edge of ribs on side. So it's, it's ribs, right? About here. It's kind of that tickle spot. So we're going to take clarity. Three times clockwise. Put it in that spot. And you know, if you're wearing clothes and you can't get to it, it's really fine to just put it um, over it because it is an energetic field that we're creating. And um, sometimes, and if you get deeper into this work, it's inaccessible, but there are points on the feet or the hands that we can really just use as that point. Okay, top of the head, back of the head, emotional points, and back of the neck. Inhale, guilt. Exhale, let it go. This could be guilt of projecting it to others, guilt that we're holding inside for anything we've done. Just inhale it, feel it, let it go. Inhale guilt, see where it shows up. Exhale, let it go. Okay, so we're gonna move into deserve. Deserve what you get, okay? Inhale, deserve. When have you received something and allowed yourself to acknowledge that you deserve it? So get there in your body. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, one more time, deserve. Exhale, let it go. We use our voices a lot by saying, oh, it wasn't me. Oh, I don't deserve this, but thank you anyway. You know, so um, step into this, this power. So we're going to move that to I learn from all of life's experiences. Inhale, deserve, feel it. I learn from all of life's experiences. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, deserve, feel it. I learn from all of life's experiences. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale. Deserve. I learn from all of life's experiences. So here, when we get into this place of um, really understanding that, that essence of deserve, we can really start to forgive. So the gift here is the ability to forgive. There's no guilt. Um, whatever has been done is done. We forgive and we are able to learn from all of life's experiences. Okay, last one, line six, is our third eye. And here it's separation, separate. Um, the oil is Idaho, I have Idaho balsam fir, but there's, um, this has been, uh, the label has been changed to grand fir and blue spruce or blue spruce, okay? The idea of separation is that we feel aloof from the whole world. We don't know why we're here. Um, everyone's so different than us. Many times, these um, people who have this, this uh, line six core emotional wound have experienced that real gift as children of feeling connected to everything, but have been shut down. Shut down because they were misunderstood and shut down because they were told, you know, they, they are just imagining things, it's all in their dreams. And um, they have become aloof and they feel very alone. So it is actually in the um, aloneness that their gift can come through. It's like they alone can bring themselves back into completeness. So the, the other side of separate is complete. And the affirmation here is fill in the blank. I am connected to, so something higher than yourself, something bigger than yourself, something in your belief system allows you to feel connected 
and complete when you belong into that group, right? In, in many cases for people, it's God. It may be Mother Earth. It may be the Divine Mother. It is really um, ultimately, to me, this idea of belonging to love, belonging and being one with love. Okay, and the point is the vertex, which is up here. Uh, right at, it's really connected to our eighth chakra in this case, and it's really at our crown. So let's go through it. So to our left hand. Three times clockwise. We're going to put it on our crown anyway. And we're just going to put doubly, uh, double intention there. Back of our head. Emotional points in our forehead and back of our neck. Okay, so inhale, this idea of separateness. Exhale, let it go. It may bring a lot of emotion of, um, within you, just allow it. Being separate from others, being separate from everything. How does that feel for you? Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Moving to the other side of complete. So you have felt this before. You've had peak experiences where you felt one with everything. Call that up now. Inhale, complete. Recall that time when you felt complete. How does it make you feel? Where does it show up? Exhale, let it go. Inhale, complete. Feel it. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, complete. Exhale, let it go. Moving to the other side, I am connected to, so for me, I'm gonna choose um, divine love, okay? You can choose any, fill in the blank. Inhale, complete. I am connected to divine love. Inhale, complete. Feeling it, I am connected to divine love. Exhale, let it go. Inhale again, complete. Feel it all around you. I am connected to divine love. And so obviously I'm moving through it really fast in this video, but you can always pause and just allow yourself to sit with it. It's really powerful work and we don't ever wanna feel rushed. So the gift here for the one who has the six line core wound, um, feeling separate, is care, self-care, care for others, care for earth, care for the plant beings, care for every sentient being because ultimately we are one and um, that's an attitude of care that we get to when we feel complete when we feel connected to all that is. So I hope you are um, connecting, resonating with this teaching, and I would really love to go through it more with you. I will pop in more often to talk more about, um, you know, how it's all related, our, our emotions and, and psychology and our state of, really being and how we can thrive together <laughs> let me just look at the comments um aloha laura hi jessica <laughs> and yeah i think you're talking about shame the most damaging emotion and i'm you're hitting on all my worst emotions so i just want to emphasize that um this is a range of emotions that as humanity we have come here to transmute and so there are um, almost like groups of beings that are, have been given the responsibility of transmuting and focusing on one of these core wounds because it shows up in our hologenetic profile. However, we can move through it all as, um, as we are working collectively and there is almost always one that, that hits deeper than the rest. Um, so let's move through it together. 
Thank you so much, and I would love your questions. You can comment here or PM me, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.